about your art That's first, that would be great. Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Robert Dale Sosi. Uh, my mother is Picaris Pueblo, and my father was uh, Diné, Navajo. And uh, they raised us in Santa Fe, a family of seven kids. And uh, we learned from my parents early on to be artists. It was already in our blood lineage too because my uh, past grandfathers and great grandfathers were artists in their own right. And uh, I uh, started doing art since I was a kid. And uh, my sister taught me art when I was 12 years old. And it just uh, came naturally to me. I really didn't have to really uh, formally learn. It was just natural touching the materials and working with them. Yeah, uh, my pieces come from within my heart and my soul. Whenever I'm uh, uh, attempting to find a, a really good uh, source of creativity, I just go deep into inspiration with, with my own self through uh, prayer and meditation when I, before I start. I really respect the medium of rock, so, and to me, uh, the earth is alive. And um, I work with it, you know, I look at the stone, raw stone and I go with the shape of the stone. But if somebody wants to commission something, I'll, I'll go with what they like and through drawings and, uh, and I'll look for the right type of stone to fit in the idea. Um, how long have you been doing the hybrid arts work? Well, this will probably be my second year. I did one in 2008 when I lived uh, down the road here. Um, with my brother and my uh, my family, and I thought the high road tour was uh, well organized and real professional and um, long lasting. It has a it already has a long history, and that's why I came back. Yes, the diversity in the art goes way back into centuries. Uh, you know, I, I grew up born and raised in Santa Fe, so I grew up around diversity and uh, Spanish artists, Anglo artists. Indian artist. I never saw any kind of like uh, racial inequalities or any uh, separation. I saw everything. I've always seen the whole life as one. So to me, art is one and it brings everybody together. And that's the quality I like about this high road tour. You know, there, there's no uh, uh, barriers to uh, where we come from. Uh, say like when I'm driving up from uh, Chimayo, there's the the wood carvers and the rug weavers, and you come up a little more. Then there's the the Anglo artists, the, the painters, sculptors. And you come Peñasco, you, you see more of the 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 people have carried on the 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 old style of crafts that that was here for many centuries also. So yeah. Well, I really uh, I've been drawn to stone because of its quality and its in color, it's uh, some pieces are tough, some are soft, some are translucent, and some just don't even have any color, like black. And uh, they all come together and and guide me and and sustain me and um, take care of my family. And man, I just I I can never stop learning when it comes to working with stone. It's always teaching me. And to have to, to participate in, in the, the, this high road tour uh, seems like that, that's my purpose, to try to help people uh, and organizations to continue on. Uh, we do need members and we don't want uh, high road tours or any studio tours to die out. We want them to continue on for as long as they've been here. Like this one's been here 22 years and I would like to see it going another 22 years for my kids and my, my my uh, friends and family so hopefully this tour will go on for many many more years